Hello everyone. So today we are going to discuss about an important concept which is called as principle of inclusion and exclusion. This is a useful tool in Olympiad combinatorics and particularly for exams like AMC, IOQM and SMO contest. So this talks about counting a set which is actually union of multiple sets. Let's say you have three sets and some elements are common within them. Then this method allows you to count the total number of elements without over counting or under counting it. We will also solve a beautiful coloring problem based on this which is actually from AIME 2001. So let's get started. Principle of inclusion exclusion talks about simple counting technique. So let's see a diagrammatical approach towards learning this. Let's draw some Venn diagrams in order to represent a set. So here there are three sets. Let's call them as S1, S2 and S3. And of course they share some common element. Now the usual question would be to count the number of elements in the union of all these three sets. What is the meaning of union? It is just the collection of all elements that belong to at least one of these sets. Here we have S1, S2, S3 under consideration. So according to the diagram, union is represented as the number of elements in the shaded part. So what's a big deal in finding the number of elements? Here is the challenging task. See, we can find the cardinality of S1, cardinality of S2, cardinality of S3 in some problems or scenarios quite easily. And we will also take an example to justify it. But do notice that the cardinality of the union, cardinality of S1 union S2 union S3 is not equal to the individual cardinality. The reason being that Common elements are counted twice and few of them are counted thrice. So for example, elements over here are counted both in S1 and S2. So that's not a proper way of counting. So principle of inclusion exclusion helps us to get rid of this difficulty. And how exactly? It sort of purposefully overcounts the union and then undercounts it, and then overcounts it, and then undercounts, overcounts, and the slowly you can observe that error decreases to zero. This is how it is designed, and let's see how this is counted. Cardinality of S1 union S2 union S3 is actually equal to the cardinality of S1 plus cardinality of S2 plus cardinality of S3 minus cardinality of S1 intersection S2 and then minus cardinality of S2 intersection S3 minus cardinality of S3 intersection S1 plus cardinality of S1 intersection S2 intersection S3. So finding the intersection's cardinality is not very difficult and thus the union's cardinality is broken down into intersection's cardinality as given and you can clearly observe that the signs alternate when you consider the number of sets that you take for the intersection. If you take two sets for intersection, you get a negative sign. And when you take three sets for intersection, you get a positive sign. So having that in mind, let's understand a quick reason behind this definition. Notice that when you add all these cardinalities, this green shaded parts are actually counted twice. They are counted twice. Whereas the outer parts which exactly belong to one set are counted once. So we need not disturb them. But since the green shaded areas are over counted, we have to subtract it in order to account for this over counting. And that's why we subtract cardinality of S1 intersection S2, which actually refers this part. Though it includes the intersection of all three sets, we will come to that later. But for now, the green area in the S1 intersection S2 part is accounted for. And similarly, when you subtract S2 intersection S3, you actually get rid of that overcounting 
which was done when you add the individual cardinalities and similarly for the s1 intersection s3 but when you think about the part in the interior which is the intersection of all three they were counted thrice when you added individual cardinality and when you subtracted the cardinalities taken two at a time you actually subtracted it thrice so you added thrice and subtracted thrice which means you have to add it once more to get the actual count of this triple intersection that's why we added it at the last so let's quickly solve a problem based on this so this is a problem from aime 2001 and this is interesting consider a 3 by 3 unit grid so it can be thought of like this and then they are colored with blue or red and here they refer to those nine unit squares so now we are interested to find the probability to not have a 2 by 2 grid on this 3 cross three after the coloring so it's also given that either color are equally likely which means that each coloring configuration of these nine unit squares are equally likely and thus we can apply the classical definition of probability which is number of favorable outcomes by total number of outcomes clearly the total number of outcomes are 2 power 9 in number because 2 for each unit square and there are 9 in total and they are also independent so 2 power 9 and let's count the complement of this given case the given case is asking you to count for non existence of 2 cross 2 grid but actually let's count the probability for existence of 2 cross 2 grid and thereby when you consider 1 minus the probability you will get the actual answer so how am i going to consider the existence of 2 cross 2 so first realize that a 2 cross 2 square grid can be in the top left corner or in the top right corner or in the bottom right corner or in the bottom left corner so there are four 2 by 2 grids that can be red completely red so when we talk about existence we will be actually finding or estimating the probability for existence of at least one of these 2 by 2 red square so let's call the bottom left 2 by 2 square being read to be s1 denote by s1 for the set of configurations with top left 2 by 2 square being read and s2 for the top right s3 for bottom left and s4 for bottom right so what we have to find is essentially cardinality of S1 union, S2 union, S3 union, S4. That's it. And we have to apply the inclusion-exclusion principle. So here, the cardinality of the union by the inclusion-exclusion principle would be the sum of individual cardinalities minus sum of the two intersection cardinalities plus the sum of three intersection cardinalities minus the cardinality of all four 2 by 2 squares being read and notice that these four 2 by 2 squares are symmetric so we can just find the cardinality of let's say s1 intersection s2 and that is identical to all possible two intersections taken at a time so what we will be finding is the cardinality of s1 so let's assume that this the top left is completely red so we have two possibilities for all the remaining squares which amounts to 2 power 5 in number so this is 2 power 5 but there are four of them or four choose one of them and we multiply it by four choose one minus you have two sets si and sj taken at a time which has to be so there are four choose two terms out of which four terms needs to be handled separately and two terms are diagonally opposite two cross two squares and that needs to be handled differently 
So this is four times, let's say S1 and S2 are adjacent and you see that there are three more unit squares which can be independently colored in two power three ways. So you multiply that by two power three plus two times of the diagonally opposite two by two squares, which will give you two diagonally opposite unit squares. So that is two square in number plus cardinality of sets taken three at a time and uh, whatever three sets you take it will always give you one independent square to color so which has two choices and this would be just four choose three times two minus the cardinality of intersection of all the sets which is essentially all unit square which compels all unit squares to be red and that has only one possible configuration. And when you simplify this, you will get the required answer. And uh, that, let's call it as x. So the actual answer would then be 1 minus x by 2 power 9. So this will be the actual answer. So comment your answer that you get for this problem in the comment section. The board work will be available in the description. Thank you for watching. We will meet in the next video. Bye. Same.